Hi guys! Today, we're going to be talking about all of the bean bombs in Garden Warfare 2 and which one is the best. This is a really common debate I see in the Garden Warfare community and there's a clear winner to all of these, but let's talk about all of them in individual detail, starting with the chili bean bomb. The first bean bomb we're going to be talking about is the regular bean bomb. Everyone that plays the game starts out with this ability. It's a pretty decent ability, but I don't think it's the best bean bomb. In fact, I think it actually is the worst bean bomb. So it does 175 damage, which is pretty good. But it's not enough to kill a superhero or an all-star, but it's still pretty good damage. It also has mediocre blast radius at 5 meters, which, you know, is pretty good. But, I mean, I'd rather use the next ability we're going to talk about. But there's a few other things I want to talk about with the regular bean bomb. There's a lot of cool tricks you could do with it to throw it a lot further than you're normally supposed to be able to. You aim angle your camera up and then let go, you could kind of launch the bean bomb in a certain way, which is actually really, really useful. And of course, the most famous use case for the bean bomb is bean jumping, which is again possible with the regular bean bomb as well. The next bean bomb we're going to be talking about is the sombrero bean bomb. This one can be easily obtained through buying 35,000 coin packs. I think the sombrero bean bomb is better than the regular bean bomb because it has a cooldown of only 30 seconds, which is a whopping 14 second difference than the regular bean bomb. It also does 250 damage, so it could easily instant kill any playable class in the entire game besides mechs, which is really, really good. It also has a humongous blast radius at 10 meters, meaning you could put this thing into an objective and kill every single person inside of it, which is like, wow, one of the best group control abilities in the entire game, if not the best group control ability in the game. Only thing that's kind of bad about it is that its fuse is five seconds and it takes a bit of time to come out, but it doesn't really matter because you're getting 250 damage with a huge blast radius and a very decent recharge at only 30 seconds, which is the quickest recharging beam bomb of all of them. Of course, it's possible to use the bean jump with the sombrero bean bomb as well. And it's actually the most consistent bean to use if you wanted to do the bean jump. So if you like it unbuilt if you like a bean bomb that's purely made for killing, but you want the fast recharge of the dark bean bomb, the sombrero bean bomb is the pick for you. It is nowhere near a bad ability. The final ability that we're gonna be talking about today is the dark bean bomb. The Dark Bean Bomb can be purchased from Rux for 500,000 coins. This is definitely the best Bean Bomb in my opinion. The thing that's most notable about them is that you get not one, but two Bean Bombs to use, each doing 80 damage. But the Dark Bean Bomb has a s the Dark Bean Bomb has the worst blast radius out of all the Bean Bombs at only four meters, and it's not really a good attack move. The reason I think this is the best bean bomb, however, is with bean jumping, you have two chances to be able to fly across the map, which is just really, really good. They also have a recharge of 35 seconds, which is a lot better than the regular bean bomb's 44. An absolutely disgusting combo you could do is the ice pea and the dark bean bombs. You could basically free someone, put up both bean bombs, and by the time they're able to escape, it'll kill them instantly. So the Dark Bean Bomb is definitely the way to go if you're in a one-on-one -on -one scenario or if you want to prioritize good movement and mobility over group control. Again, being able to bean jump twice in one go is just really good and gives you the best mobility in the entire game. The Bean Bombs are also very well known for their very strange physics, specifically when you jump on top of them. Very weird glitches can happen. As you could see, I just forcefully got pushed back for no reason. These glitches seem to be the most common with the Sombrero Bean Bomb. So the Dark Bean Bomb can actually make you shoot faster if you use it while you're shooting with one of the slower firing pea shooters. This works with all the pea shooters, but it's not really needed, and it can actually help a lot of the pea shooters shoot a lot faster. This isn't really practical, but it can come in handy at times. So if you shoot, use the Bean Bomb and shoot again, you'll shoot out the next shot a lot faster. See? When usually, a lot slower. So you could get two extra shots in along with the bean bomb. Pretty cool stuff. 
The Bean Bombs also have another feature of attracting all of the brown coat zombies directly to it. Again, this isn't really useful, but if you play a game mode like Ops, I guess it could be useful, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that interesting, but I just thought it was worth mentioning because it can be useful against the brown coat zombies. I know this video is about Bean Bombs, but I want to talk about the Super P Jump because the Super P Jump is an alternate ability which lets you jump higher with the P Shooter, which sounds useful on paper, but you don't get the nice movement speed that the other ability, Hyper, provides, so it's just a direct downgrade. Yeah, you could jump a lot higher than regular Hyper, but there's something you could do with the Bean, dump, bean Bombs with the regular Hyper, which allows you to jump really, really high, which I mentioned earlier, is Bean Jumping. So Super P Jump is literally useless if you know how to use the Bean Jump, because Bean Jumping, you could literally fly high in the sky across the map, and there's no point of using the Super P Jump when you could just use Hyper with Bean Jumping. So, fun fact of the day, if you didn't know if Super P Jump was good or not, it's awful. Don't use it. Quick summary. <laughs> a quick sum- <laughs> A quick summary. The regular Bean Bomb I don't think is bad, but I think it's the worst Bean Bomb. But if you- if that's the only option you have, or if you prefer it, then you could use it, because it's fine. The Sombrero Bean Bomb, I think, is a better option than the regular Bean Bomb due to its faster recharge. So this gets the second place spot. The first place spot definitely is going to go to the Dark Bean Bomb because you get two of them and you get the added extra mobility that the other peace shooters don't have, or other Bean Bombs don't have. If you guys like this video, remember to like and comment which Bean Bomb is your favorite to use. And don't forget to join my Discord server, which is listed in the description below. I wanted to quickly talk about the website I used, garnover2stats.netlify.app. So on the main page, usually it looks like this at the home, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is click variants, go to, or sorry, go to the classes option, and then you could click on any of the abilities and you could actually see all the individual stats for all the abilities. So if you guys were wondering how I got all these stats, it's from this website and I'll leave a link to it in the description. It'll even show um, right here, you could adjust the range of everything. So that's very, very useful. So I use this website for every single one of my videos. I always have it pulled open on my other monitor and it's very, very helpful. So if you're wondering how to see how the abilities work on this website, you just click the classes button and then you could see all the available abilities. So I hope this was helpful to everyone who was watching. Thanks for watching the video up to this point, and have a great day. Take care. Bye.